We've owned our Tab 400 by New Camp for over six months, and we spent over two months sleeping in it, putting over 12,000 miles on it. Let's take a look at how it's holding up in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please make sure you take time to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we put out a new video. Also, you can follow us for real-time updates on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all under Travels with Delaney. And if you're enjoying the content on our channel, please check out our Amazon shop at amazon.com backslash shop backslash Travels with Delaney. Each time you visit our shop and then make purchases on Amazon, it helps us out with a small commission so we can continue to put out quality content. All right. On to this week's episode of our six month review of our Tab 400 by New Camp. So let's go ahead and start on the outside and just talk about some of the things that we've seen over this first six or seven months. We'll go ahead and start on the front. And one of the concerns we had early on was the fact that there was only one 20 pound propane tank and we were kind of worried whether that would be enough. I can tell you after using this trailer significantly that we haven't had any issues. The only thing we're using propane for is the two burner cooktop stove and the Aldi heat system and water heater. And if we have electric, we go ahead and run those on electric anyway. So we have had absolutely no concerns. Now, as far as with the tub, uh, those of you that saw our Going to Texas series know that the tub actually came loose because the four screws had popped out. Now we replaced it, haven't had any issues, I'm um, just re replacing with a larger screw. One of the things I would like to change down the road is you can see how this is open frame down here. Um, in the other Tab 320s, normally the battery would go in here. I've been able to take a five gallon bucket and store things like wheel chucks and water filters. I keep my hose up here. But what would really be nice is to modify this so it's a solid bottom. Now with the new, um, Boondock Light Tab 400, you actually get a diamond plate bucket and it does have a solid bottom in. Um, and we've also been told we could upgrade that, but obviously there'd be a charge to change ours out at this point. As far as the exterior, main thing that we've seen is um, we wanna make sure we always use a non-abrasive cleaner. So we just use really like a car wash and wax solution and water. And I use a real nice soft cloth um, to clean the windows because we don't want to scratch them. Uh, same way with the exterior, this will clean up very nice. Now, our trailer actually needs a good bath. We live in the pine tree, so you can see there's lots of um, pine needles and sap. And as far as what I found that works really well for sap on here that's not abrasive is actually peanut butter of all things. A little bit of peanut butter will eat away. Um, we do have the diamond plate, which has done well. We did travel out in Montana this summer on some dirt roads. Now we did get a few stones flying up, but honestly the exterior is really tough and we've got just a couple, um, and you can't even really see them, a couple minor chips, but it, it doesn't break through or anything like that. So it's held up well. Come around here, back black tank flush. Now we haven't used the outside shower really, um, but it is nice knowing you have that feature. What I really like on this trailer um, is that in this particular compartment, uh, we have all of the low point drains and the bypass valve. It's located in one convenient space. Um, if you haven't seen the tour of the, of the trailer, I would go ahead and link right up here and you can see the actual tour of the trailer. Uh, we talked about the fact in the opening that we have over 12,000 miles and you can see how well these tires are holding up. And so we've been really pleased with the quality of the tires on the, on the trailer. Another thing I'm really happy about is this uh, sewer hose storage compartment. Now we've had these before on trailers where you could not get a sewer hose actually in them except for one of those real cheap short ones. I'm using a 15 foot Rhino Flex and I'm able to get all the attachment ends into here. And so it's nice to actually have a storage compartment for your sewer hose that will actually hold everything. Uh, we just kind of come around, no issues with the stargazer window, and um, works well for us. Now, when we bought this trailer, our former trailer had a awning on it, electronic awning. And so we did like that when it was raining out or really sunny. But with the Tab 400, there is no awning, but you do get the Keter rail. And I have a video on the sunshade we purchased. And what I can tell you is that sunshade 
is easy to put up, it's easy to take down. I've actually done it even for one night stays. And um, so we purchased ours through Doty Hill Designs. You can look them up online and the quality is really good. That thing has stood up through the wind and the rain for us all summer long and we've just been really happy with it. Now, as far as the outdoor storage, you probably saw in an earlier video that I said one of the issues is this, this entryway door is awfully small. Now, one of the nice things is you can access your outdoor storage from inside under the bed, but then you have to kind of take your bed apart to get to it. Uh, it's a decent size outdoor storage for an 18 foot trailer. I'm able to carry our solar panel in here, our outdoor carpet, our grill. Um, you see a small crate full of things like the tablecloth and fire starters. I carry a jack and a little lantern. So actually quite a bit of storage in here. Now one other thing I wanna point out is this trailer came installed with a battery shutoff switch, which is really nice. Um, I had to do that on prior trailers. I had to install them myself. So that's an actual standard option. So we're really happy with that. We're also very happy with the 235 amp hour AGM battery. That has held up real well for us. Now, when the production started, I believe it was in May of 2018, they went to actually two six volts. So that's even better if you have a newer tab. Um, one thing, if you have any issues to where you don't have power, come out here and check there's actually a, a little circuit breaker right back here and it can trip um, for the battery. So if you ever have an issue that there's no battery power, check that out. That's probably been tripped and just needs to be reset. Um, and that's really about it on the outside. Everything on the outside is held up well. We had an issue where our 400 labels were peeling off and when we were at U Camp this summer, they actually replaced those for us and have had no issues since then. Apparently there was an adhesive issue at one point. The exterior light on our trailer was really bright. It was white. My solution was just a roll of yellow electric tape and I put a couple layers on there. You can purchase the actual amber one that they're now putting on the tabs. And I believe it's around $14 from the factory. So let's go ahead and look at the inside. And let's start with the door. Now, this door is really cool, but the trash can, we did try using it as a trash can, but we found it just wasn't big enough. And so what we turned it into is just really our recycle area for our plastic grocery bags. And it works fine for that. Um, but what we do like also are these cubbies. We keep our umbrellas right here, so anytime it's raining, they're right there, they're easy to get to. And then Truman's leash goes up here. We also really like the fact that there's a built-in window for light, but at least we have the privacy shade built in. The screen door, I think, might concern some people, and really we did too. Um, you know, would it stand up going back and forth? And you can see that it's still in excellent shape, and we've had no issues other than Truman on a few times has tried to obviously come through it and we're still looking for something because unlike a normal screen door that would swing open to where you could put plexiglass across, we can't really do that, at least not permanently. So if you have a pet, that could be an issue. Um, the flooring was something that uh, we were concerned about when we first bought the trailer because it kind of has a rough texture to it. Now this is the infinity flooring. This is actually a high-end marine grade flooring. Now that we've had it, we love it. We just have a rechargeable Black & Decker handheld vac that we use to sweep it up and then just some warm soapy water if we need to clean it. And actually the rough texture feels so nice on your feet. Um, the couch, we did a whole video on the fact that the dinette is a three-in-one. It's a dinette, a sofa, and a bed for one adult or child. We just pretty much keep it now in this sofa mode with the built-in um, coffee table, I guess is what we'll call it. We like to sit there in the morning and have our coffee and juice. Now, from a critical standpoint, what I will tell you is I don't necessarily find this table easy to put up and down. Now, it can be done. I don't want to make it sound like it can't be done. But the table itself is very heavy, which is good because it's very solid when you're using it as a couch or a bed. But you do have to pop this leg into place and then you also have to do the two clips and lift it up to the higher bracket and so if I was going to be critical on something 
Um, it's just how easy this table is to take up and down. Uh, like I said, it's not a big deal for us because ever since we found out this could be a sofa, we just leave it as a sofa. Um, so we'll come on in. We obviously love the lighting in here. Now it's a little dark right now because I've got everything shut up, but look how um, you can open these porthole windows and get lots and nice light in here. We also love the fact that there's all of these cubbies. You see all the Truman supplies back there. And then the same way up here, we keep some DVDs and things like that. And up here we have our pin pillow and you can store things right up here in this ledge. So we really love the fact that there's good natural lighting in the trailer and the fact that there's lots of storage. Just so you know, since we have purchased ours, there's a couple options that you can now get on your Tab 400. Obviously one is you can do the Boondock light package. It's gonna give you a more aggressive tire, the pitched axle, um, and a few other nice features, but you can also add a microwave that would go right here. Now you're gonna lose this cabinet if you decide to do the microwave. We personally are glad we don't have the microwave. We love the storage of these two cabinets and we would hate to lose any of it. And we did find a solution for the microwave and that was, let's turn some lights on here. We ended up just going to Walmart and purchasing a little microwave and out here and you can see right there it is so I have this little $49 microwave from Walmart it stores perfect on that top shelf we just pull it out when we need it um, there's also the second storage down here you can see we keep a toaster we have pots and pans and then we also have the three-quart instapot stored down there uh, continuing on with the storage, I mean, we just love the fact that you have all this drawer storage for your silverware and utensils. I keep spices over here. And then down below the silverware tray, there's actually storage where I keep um, spoons and serving spoons and spatulas and things. Uh, the two burner cooktop stove, no issues there. And we also love the recessed sink. I love these recessed items because it just gives you so much more counter space when you're not using them. Okay. Um, next, we'll talk about the entertainment center. Honestly, we don't use it a lot, but it works great. We have the Jensen TV and we also have the Jensen stereo system. Okay. Uh, it's also a DVD player. We've had no issues with that. Now, my only real complaint, and I've heard this from some other owners is, there's three zones for the speakers in the Tab 400, A, B, and C. You have to set the volume individually. There's no way to like turn all three zones up or down at the same time. So that's that's kind of um, not a big deal. Um, it's just it, you have to go through and turn up each zone or turn each zone down. We love these reading lights. The fact that you can press once for blue or you can hold in for an actual bright light and the fact that we each have one. We also have really been happy with the fact, uh, let me get down here, that we have plugs. It's gonna be hard to see with the lighting and USB plugs down here. Um, everything's worked really well with that. We'll talk about the refrigerator. Now, I was talking about options you had. And I mentioned the microwave. Another option is you can actually replace this two-way battery electric refrigerator. And I believe this is about a 2.6, 2.7 cubic foot. Everybody thinks it looks really small until they open it up and they go in and see how deep it is. And you see I've got full bottles of water going way back in there. And it does have your little freezer box. But you can replace this. Now, an option is to get a three-way refrigerator. It's about one cubic foot bigger. It looks huge because it's gonna take up this entire wardrobe closet that I'm gonna show you. Um, that means then you're gonna get a little bit more storage space where the refrigerator is in ours. Now, we would never do that because we love this wardrobe. Let's go ahead and turn the light on. You can see there's room for hanging clothes. And then we have these cubbies along here. And then what I started doing this summer was actually keeping a lot of my clothes in these compression cubes. And I just throw them down here in the bottom. So when I go to get around in the morning, I pull out my compression cube and all of my clothes are 
right there in one place. I have two of those that I typically use. And then if we're going on a longer trip, Patty would have more clothes in here. Um, we're currently packed for just a two night overnight weekend trip, but we love this wardrobe. And like I said, if you want, you now have the option to put in that bigger. And when I say bigger, it's only about a cubic foot bigger. It looks massive, but it takes up this whole wardrobe area. Um, and again, that would be a three-way refrigerator if you really want the pro paint. Uh, while we're still back here, we love the mattress. Again, I think I've said this in other videos. It's the only trailer that I have not changed the mattress out in. We've slept on this, you know, again, for a couple of months. We love it. Now, this does have the Froley sleep system. That's those little springs. One of the things I'm going to be experimenting with here in the next few weeks is I have ordered the attachments to actually firm up certain springs. So I'm sure I'll be doing a video on that. Uh, the other thing that we have done is, if you've seen my other videos, you know that there are three cushions that come with it. Okay, and those cushions typically ran the length of the trailer. So you had one, two, and then three. What we just recently did was we took these top two and they're designed that way so it's easy to lift up to get under here to your outdoor storage. We never do that. So what I've done is now I've taken these top two and I've rotated them so now you have two that run the length of where we lay. And what we really like about that is no longer is there that crease in our back so that was just a modification we made that just required moving the cushions. Um, pull back out and let's talk about the bathroom. Now, <laughs> if you've seen my Take 5 series, um, you know I just did a whole five minute video on this bathroom. I refer to this as our luxurious wet bath and I also refer to it as the driest wet bath in the industry because of this shower curtain. This shower curtain actually pulls out in front of the toilet and goes around three sides. So the only thing getting wet is this front wall and the shower pan. And so we absolutely love it. Now, we love the idea of the fold down sink. It's a great concept, save space. It's a much more practical sink than we had in our prior wet bath with the other trailer because that one, it was so small, you couldn't actually use it for anything. This is big enough, you can use it. The only real downside on this is it drains very slow. And so a lot of times we're actually pulling this plug out and then we're sitting here tilting it, just trying to get the water to go down. So that's something they need to work on. Um, they're aware of it and they're working with the sink manufacturer. But you can see, oops, you can see how much storage there is in here. Um, and like I said, none of it gets wet. It actually came with this really nice low flow shower head that you can adjust up and down. It comes off and take it left and right. The Aldi heat system is actually in here. So this is a heated bath and no, you don't have to worry about it getting wet. There's places for the water to go straight down and come out the opening in the bottom and it doesn't hit hurt the radiator at all. We've had no issues with the toilet um, or the, um, the 12 gallon black tank. We can go a whole week, no issues there. Now the gray tank has been an issue. We knew it would be. It's an 18 gallon gray tank on this trailer. And so ideally we can only make it two, maybe three days if we really, really conserve water. Um, we, it came with these hooks and it also came with this toilet paper marine grade holder. We added this little trash can that I actually hung with command Velcro. So that way we can take it off. But it's just a little in, uh, trash can for in here. So we love this bathroom. I honestly, overall, there's a couple minor things. Like I said, just that we wish the sink would drain a little bit better, but otherwise absolutely love this bath, would not trade it. And honestly, I wouldn't trade it for a traditional bath because you know you don't spend much time in your bathroom. And so I would rather have the bulk of the space out here where we're actually going to be. And, um, and like I said, the fact that only the floor and the front wall get wet really makes it the driest wet bath you'll ever find. So, I think that's just about everything. Um, the fantastic fan obviously has been wonderful for us. We did not add a max air cover, at least not at this point. Um, we love the fact that I can open it up full. I know we had some restrictions on our other trailer because the max air cover would not allow us to go up fully open. So we get so much better air movement. The other thing is I just like the profile of the trailer without having that up top. So, 
So the only other things I would mention is the Aldi heat system and water heater work great. Those run off um, electric or propane. The only downside to the Aldi heat system, and I've said this before in other videos, is if let's say it was really cold out and you were gonna go camping like in the winter, um, it takes a really long time to bring it up from a cold temperature. So let's say the trailer is only 30 degrees, it's gonna take a while to get it up. But once that temperature gets up there, the Aldi does a great job of keeping it there. The workaround that we've had for those kind of conditions is we have the little Mr. Buddy um, or Mr. Heater Buddy um, propane heater. We just bring that along, give it five minutes, shut it off. We actually, I take it out of the trailer then. That brings the temperature of the trailer up and then we let the Aldi do its thing. As far as air conditioning, man, that Dometic Cool Cat AC slash heat pump is amazing. And the fact that it's ducted, we love. It is so much quieter than the um, the old roof type top. And I say old, it's really what's on most trailers, but it's the, the ones that are up here in your ceiling and, it's, and they don't duct it. It just kind of puts the air out. But those tend to be so much more noisy. That's what we had prior. So we love the ducted AC slash heat pump. All right, I think that's pretty much it. So what do we think of the Tab 400 now that we've had it for over six months, 12,000 miles, two months sleeping in it? I would say we would definitely buy this trailer all over again. There, the issues we've had are so minor. We had a, um, a plastic clip on the table break. I called New Camp. They immediately sent us new clips. We replaced them. No big deal. Um, we've got some other minor things that they're going to work on, but we're going to take it right to the factory. They're willing to let us do that, and, um, and they're going to cover it all under warranty, no questions asked. And that's the other thing I would say. The customer service is ridiculous. And when I say ridiculous, I mean ridiculous as in good. Um, when I have questions, because our dealer is over a thousand miles away where we bought it and the closest dealer to us now is still about four hours away, I just call the factory and they will literally say, do you have time? We'll, we'll get somebody off the factory floor to answer your questions. And they're so willing to help us. Um, they've never questioned anything. I'll just say, you know, like when I called and told them that the one clip was broke on the dinette, you know, I offered to send pictures to prove it. And Elsie, who is the parts manager, I mean, she was like, I don't need pictures. I believe you. You, you know, it's broke. I'll send you two new ones. And that way you have an extra in case the other one breaks. And, and literally had it within a week. So from a customer service standpoint, I would give this, you know, two thumbs up. From a build quality, again, same thing. I, I, I've only got one thumb because I'm using the other hand to um, hold the camera. But two thumbs up on build quality. Now, I'm not going to tell you that you're not going to have issues if you buy a New Camp trailer because obviously with any manufacturing process and when you're using suppliers, there can be issues. But what we have found is they will take care of it or they will take care of you to make sure you're happy. And so overall, I just... I can't say enough about New Camp and this particular trailer. And so we would highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a trailer. We believe it's worth every penny that we've spent. And um, we look forward to a lot more nights of camping in our Tab 400. So, all right. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. Or if you have any uh, thing to share or questions about modifications we've made, which honestly, we just have not made a lot of modifications because we love the trailer unless you call putting up command hooks a modification. Otherwise, that's about it. So, all right. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.